Now in today's video we're going to be taking a look at another set of budget fans and I know we haven't actually done that on the channel for a while now and that's because when you get fan kits particularly RGB ones in sets like this where you get multiple fans they tend to be a little bit boring and that's because a lot of the brands out there that build budget sets of fans tend to over complicate their things particularly when it comes to things like connections and the way they're actually adapted to the cases and stuff like that that they tend to make more annoyances than ever but our friends at Gillette actually sent these over and I will be honest they've done everything right so I thought I would share it with you guys just to show you what a fan set should be like. So these are the Stellar Infinity case fans and it's got a plus Amber Pro 8 if you're buying them in a kit like this where you get a bunch of accessories. And to be honest when they actually arrived I was a little bit dubious of actually using them and that's because they look identical to the fans that were on one of the coolers that Gillette sent us. And I wasn't really impressed with that one, to be honest. The fans on the cooler that they sent us worked perfectly fine in terms of actually moving airflow and stuff. And the RGB was okay, but to be honest, they were a little bit noisy. But these are absolutely totally different. These are on a different level. And I'm not really sure what's going on because I'm pretty sure there's still at affinity that's on that actual cooler. But for some reason, the ones that they provide like this seem to just be a much better quality. One thing that Gillette has done is actually done everything right, even down to the packaging. If we look at the packaging here, we can see that we've got a nice picture of the products that you're going to get inside of it. It's not going to leave you kind of wondering and guessing what's actually there. On the one side of the box, we have all the specifications for the fans themselves. The Stellar Infinity Dual Ring 120 mm We've got lots of different information here, but one of the most important things to me is actually the speed of the fans. And these run from a 500 RPM to a 1600 RPM. So if you're going to be running them quite low at 500 RPM, they're going to be pretty silent. And 1600 is actually perfectly fine for any type of case fan. It's going to pump enough air into your system. If we look at the other side, we actually have the specifications for the Amber 8 Pro. Now, the Amber 8 Pro includes a number of things. It's a bunch of cables, which we'll get into when we open it up, as well as a controller. So you can actually control all the lighting and the fans together. You don't need to purchase anything else. They also, on the back, have a list of everything that's included in the box. I like this feature because it means I can just see what's going to be inside there before I even open it up. We can see that we get a controller, we get a remote control for probably the RGB, we get the fans themselves, and this set actually comes with five, so that's not too bad. It gives you plenty to fill out that case. We get an extra power SATA cable, which is obviously going to power the controller itself a PWM control cable so at least when we actually come to use that controller we can override it with motherboard if we want to an ARGB sync cable pretty much the same as the power cable but we can override the ARGB that's pretty cool and then a couple of sticky pads I'm assuming that the sticky pads for this are to actually attach a controller somewhere that will be a shame if that's true and they haven't used a magnet but I'm sure once we dig in we'll take a look when it comes to how it's actually been packaged together as well that's pretty impressive if we open up the box we can see that they haven't wasted any space the box is a nice compact box and we have this on top this one is going to actually contain all the accessories and then we can see that we've got the five fans all labelled inside there with their own boxes, not those silly little bags. And to be honest, I'm going to take a look at one of the fans first. Now, each fan coming in its own box is obviously going to have its own pieces, and we do have some screws to actually attach it to your case, but pretty much all fan sets kind of come with them. I have boxes and boxes of them laying around because you tend to get way more than you ever need, and particularly if you don't use fan kits or if you get rid of some, you tend to have the screws left over. But then we've got the fan itself. Now, the fan's design, I actually like this kind of design. I think it looks quite nice. We have rubber mounted corners on both sides, front and back, so it doesn't matter which way you actually fit these into your case. You're going to actually get that extra acoustic protection. We have a ring system all the way around the fan itself for ARGB lighting. That's pretty cool. And then we also have another one inside, which is actually going to glow onto these translucent fans, which actually does look really nice when it's inside a case. To go with that ARGB on the front, we do have an infinity mirror in the middle where the ARGB will shine as well and obviously provide that kind of infinity mirror look. That looks quite nice when it's actually in a case. And then just to top it off, on the back, we also have the extra ring system here. So it doesn't matter which way you actually fit these in the case, you're going to be able to see the lighting perfectly fine. When it comes to connections, they have given us standard connections. I really like that. I think all brands should actually do that. I hate these proprietary controllers because once you install them in the system, yes, they do work. But then you can't hook anything else to them. You've got to go to a completely different header or another controller. That's really annoying. I think all brands should actually go to the standard connections. And if they are going to provide a controller of some description, provide one that actually takes those standard connections. And then we can just connect everything together perfectly fine. And we don't need any kind of fancy things to do it. On the actual connection for the power to the fan, we do have a four pin PWN connection. So that means they're completely fully controllable, whether we stick it onto the motherboard or whether we stick it to a controller. 
And then we have the ARGB, which uses the standard three pin ARGB connection. The ARGB connections on these also do come with pigtails, so you can hook them all together if you are limited on the headers that you've got on your motherboard. But I think once we dig into the actual accessory pack for this, I think we're going to find that we probably won't need to do that. When it comes to the accessories that we get with this, they are contained in their own little box. And if we just flip it open, we can see that we get these little sticky pads. These must be actually to stick the controller down. They're actually pretty decent quality. And I think there's like four in there. So if we need to move the controller around, we can. We can just reuse another one. We get an actual remote control. This is going to control the LED lighting. I don't know if it actually controls fan speeds. Maybe it does, maybe it does control fan speeds, I'm not quite sure, but you do have an array of colours and obviously presets to be able to set the lights on the fans. They're not the best things, I will admit, when you get these little controllers. They're very lightweight, very cheaply made, but they work if you need to and if you don't have any kind of switch system or motherboard header. And once you set them, you tend to leave them alone anyway. We also have a little bit of an instruction manual here, which goes through everything that you need in this kind of kit. It kind of goes into detail of what all the buttons are on the controller. It also comes with details of what the connections are on the controller itself and, and obviously the remote control. That's nice to see because I've had lots of budget fan systems where they don't actually tell you what the buttons on the remote do. So it's nice to see that they've included that in there and it can get you up and running pretty quick. And then we have the controller itself. Now the controller is contained in this little tiny uh, kind of bag. It's actually quite a nice feeling bag to be honest. It's not your normal plastic, that's nice. And as we can see, it's actually a pretty big thing. Being such a big controller here, they've managed to actually get it reasonably flat. It's about one and a half centimeters flat, so it'll pretty much fit on the back of any kind of case behind the motherboard tray and things like that. And as we can see, we've got a number of connections all the way around. We do have extra connections here to be able to power your extra PWM. You've got an extra power cable on the other side so that we can actually control it via SATA or at least get the power from SATA and we can then provide power to all these additional fans. It does come with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight actual connections for additional fans. So we do have a box of five here, obviously, that are going to plug into it. But if we had the Gillette cooler as well, we've got an extra two fans there. They'll actually go straight to this controller so you can actually sync all of the lighting up together as well as putting an extra strip or two in. So the controller is very nice. It's basic, but it is very nice in the fact that it's got proprietary connections. You can do both the fans and the ARGB from the same thing and provide the extra power as well as overriding everything that you need to if you want to drive it from software and on motherboard. Now there is an extra box in here and obviously this is going to contain some of the additional cables. For this one, we do have a little connection here which is going to override your PWM. That's going to go straight to your motherboard and then to the controller itself. We get one here that overrides the ARGB. That does have a VDG connection for certain motherboards, or you can go to the standard three pin. Most motherboards have the standard three pin nowadays, so you'll be good with that one. And then we have the extra SATA cable, which is going to provide the power to the controller to be able to actually power all of those extra fans. And then you're not technically running them from a single header. So they have included everything in the extra pack. I'm pretty sure that pack is the Amber 8 Pro. Everything you get here is what you're going to get if you buy the controller set. But our kit actually came with both, so we're covered for either way. Now to give you a bit of a flavor of what the fans actually look like, I've connected them up to my external power supply. We've connected them to an ARGB controller. It should probably be rainbow when it turns on. We've got them hooked up to the power supply's kind of connection with the PWM. Although what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna produce a 100% speed. So we can see what kind of air will actually come off them. But if I just flick the switch, we'll see it come on. And as we can see, everything starts to light up. There is the extra lighting in the middle here, as well as the infinity mirror, as well as the ring around the side. Now we can change the colors on these and we can pretty much do any color that we want. We've gone for a static red, green, blue, that kind of stuff. It will go through lots of different colors, but it depends on the controller you're obviously using. This is the rainbow setting and I think they look pretty good. But as we can tell, there's a lot of air actually coming off of them. There's not that much noise on these fans. They're pretty quiet, actually. I can't really hear them spinning, even though that's running at a 1600 RPM. It's fastest. If we just pop the fan down here, I've just laid it onto the desk itself. And again, there's no vibration in the desk. We can't actually hear anything. Grab our little piece of paper and we'll see how much air actually comes off of these. So as we can see, that's actually pushing the piece of paper quite nicely. That's going to produce a lot of air in a system, particularly if you're sticking three of these in there. So I think Gillette have done a good job with these fans, particularly in making everything match, everything non-proprietary, and as well as making them not just kind of nice looking, 
but it's also pretty generic. They haven't stuck all fancy logos all over the things. I think with these, you can get a pretty clean build. Now, it's not usual to be impressed by a fan set, particularly a budget one, but this set has actually impressed me. And if you were to pick this up today, you'd pay around 30 to 35 pounds for it. For the five fan system, as well as the Amber 8 Pro, that is not bad. It's way cheaper than a lot of the big brands out there. And particularly because of what you get in it, it's even cheaper than a lot of the budget brands. A lot of the budget brands will be cheaper than this when you actually look at the set. You can pick them up for 20, 25 pounds, but you don't get a controller. And if you do, they're always proprietary things, which are super annoying when you come to hook everything else up. Definitely go check these out if you're looking for a bunch of fans that will give you lighting back to front, produce reasonably good airflow and be nice and quiet, as well as being able to hook in all the rest of your system. I'm definitely going to be using these in a build soon and probably will be hooking it up with their cooler too so that it all matches. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. We've got plenty of builds coming up, particularly in the new year. You guys will not want to miss any of that because we're going to go and do some really cool stuff. Let me know in the comments below if you have used any of the Gillette ARGB fan systems and tell me your experiences. Do they last long enough? Because that's sometimes a test that you can't do when you're actually looking at them quickly like this. And I'm sure as always, we'll catch you guys in the next one.